but I'm back you guys to give y'all another energy reading um you guys this is going to be a timeless reading okay but I really feel like this is what's going on right now I already pre-shuffled and meditated over the cards and I pulled out a couple of cards already I'm gonna pull some more but I wanted to get a feel of what was going on at this time so you guys the first card we got out is I like boys and girls so for some of you guys you could have found out that somebody you was dealing with from your past or this could be somebody you currently is dealing with you could find out that this person likes the same sex okay as well or um they could have been dealing with people who was bisexual okay um I'm picking up also with this card. This is somebody who really was kind of confused about life or what they wanted. Um, whoever this is, they overindulge in pleasures. Like, I'm hearing very unhealthy habits or behaviors. Very to toxic, um, narcissist type of energy here. Um, whoever this is, they are facing divine judgment. Okay? Spirit is calling this person now. This is somebody who's being heavily judged by spirit at this time. I'm hearing a wake-up call. I feel like something has happened um, regarding this situation. Like if this person likes to party a lot, drink a lot, um, I'm hearing orgies and all of that as well. Um, spirit, something has been revealed to whoever this is. And this person is really looking at their life at this time. It's like they're finally waking up. Um, with the six of wands being here, whoever this is, you guys, I'm also picking up the energy that they did not want you guys. This is somebody who could have left you in the dark or somebody who could have tried to destroy your life. It's like they don't understand how you're still moving or how you're still doing good. For some of you guys, I feel like you have definitely elevated. Okay, you done elevated in your life. You can have a lot that's going on or something about changing your life. Your life is changing for the better. Spirit has also passed judgment in your life. So if you have been stagnant or you've been facing delays, I feel like this is being removed. Um, this could have been also somebody who was trying to keep you stuck or restrict you, keep you trapped. Or It's like this person did not want your light to shine. This is somebody who wanted you to be blind to what they was doing or they was trying to cause confusion in your life. For some of them, they could have tried to send you psychic attacks as well. You guys, I'm not going to lie. For some for some of you, um, it was the person that they was dealing with is what I'm hearing. This was a very toxic person that they was dealing with. Um, I'm hearing lower entities. They could have definitely dabbled in black magic or they could have been trying to prevent this connection from coming back together is what I'm hearing. Uh, this person could have voiced to whoever they was dealing with that they they felt like they made a mistake or it's like they was comparing whoever they was with with you like they was comparing the two of you i'm picking up a lot of arguments and fights okay as well but yeah they're facing divine judgment for trying to cause strife in your life trying to cause uh mental conflict i'm hearing blockages as well some of them they could have been trying to block your money is what i'm hearing all right or block your finances because like i said y'all y'all doing very well for yourself you could have started your own business or i'm hearing promotions but your life is going in a upward a upward um spiral it's going up i'm hearing but it could be like a spiral because you you've been facing delays or obstacles but you're still going up it's what i'm hearing but spirit is coming in to remove these blockages that they was trying to cast in your life. For some of you guys, you was dealing with a twin flame or a divine masculine here. This person is facing heavy judgment at this time. Spirit is coming in to balance out the scales because um, I'm also picking up env envious jealousy. It's like they was jealous of your progress or 
all of the success that you guys was um, receiving into your life. For some of them, they was trying to access your Akashi records. I feel like you're very spiritual. You know a lot. You can tell when people are lying to you. You're able to, I'm here and see people live. Okay, for some of you guys, you could be tarot readers or you're a medium, but you are definitely connected to spirit. You're connected to source. Some some of them was trying to access your Akashi records. For some of them, they could have went to a tarot reader and asked about you. And this tarot reader told them your life or what was coming towards you. So it's like they was trying to block you guys from getting the key or keep. they wanted to keep you confused. It's what I'm hearing, y'all. You guys, y'all could have definitely been dealing with a narcissist here. This is some, I'm hearing a pig. Like this was somebody who could have been like a pig, um, very shallow. They could have chose people who was very petite or very beautiful. I'm hearing superficial. Um, this is somebody who felt like they had it all or they was God gift to women or men. Spirit is calling this person out. Uh, I keep hearing facing divine judgment. Look at this. Um, somebody here was definitely trying to send you guys psychic attacks. They could have been sitting back watching you while they were still doing a bullshit. I'm hearing third parties. Um, this person life had got completely out of control. So spirit had to step into this situation. For some of you guys, you have a contract with this person. And this is somebody who was refusing to live up to their name or they was refusing to get on this divine mission with you. So spirit is coming in and whooping that tail, okay? Spirit is definitely coming in whooping that tail, y'all. And like I said, look at this. So we got the nine of swords in a reverse and we got the nine of swords in the upright. This was somebody who was trying to send you guys psychic attacks and everything that they was trying to send you has been reversed back to them. All right. I'm here in spiritual jail. We also got the nine of wands. So we got three nines coming up back to back. So nine, nine, nine is going to be very significant this month. But, um, yeah, this is somebody who was trying to um, cause you guys, like I said, a lot of mental anguish or keep you stuck. Somebody wanted you to, they was trying to block your intuition is what I'm hearing. But now everything is being reversed back to them. I feel like you guys, even though this person was trying to block your intuition, you were still moving forward. You still was persistent. Um, I'm hearing guarded like you you could have been guarding your energy from this person but it's like they was trying to um, this person could have been telepathically communicating with you but they definitely wanting wanted to block um, your third eye for a lot of you guys like I said you are very connected to source and spirit um, and like this could have definitely been a divine connection, but this person was refusing to do right by you or get on the right path here. So now spirit got this person locked up. They're going through a lot. I'm hearing downfall. Um, four of wands in reverse. If they living with someone, um, this is in chaos. I'm picking up fights, arguments, um, the house being destroyed, um, altercation, fights, people popping up, just a lot of chaos has taken place in this person's life. So this is somebody who's about to walk away from some situation here. And I feel like they're, they're about to come towards you. Okay. They're no longer happy here or something about them no longer being happy with their life as well. So y'all, we also got happily married. Like I said, for some of you, you could be married to this person in the ethers, okay, in the spiritual realm. So this person is wanting to come back into your life and lock you down. They want your goodies. <laughs> I just heard not my goodies. I was just listening to that on uh, my computer. <laughs> Somebody want to come back and lock you guys down after leaving uh, a very toxic family dynamic or where, wherever they was living they're wanting to come back here we got emperor so this could definitely be a divine masculine 
for some of you guys, this could be a um, Aries. We also got Gemini, Sagittarius, heavily, heavily on the air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But with the hangman here, this person feel very stuck. I'm also picking up that spirit is not letting this person come into your life just just yet because they still have to put in the work. And for a lot of you guys, you know this person ain't done shit. They still doing the same shit that they was doing or like I said, for some of them, they have walked away, but it's like they're wanting to come to you to get your supply so they can turn around and do the same thing that they done before. But spirit is about to make this person bow down is what I'm hearing. A lot of people are starting to walk away from their life. Um, family, friends. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be your family and friends. Uh, but people are starting to walk away from their life here. This person could have children or this could have been somebody you was married to here in the physical realm. It don't have to be. But um, they feel very stuck. They feel trapped. With the King of Swords here, yeah, this is somebody who's ready to come in and speak to you. But it's like they're trying to come up, I'm hearing logically, like they're trying to um, figure out what they're going to say to you when they come in. I'm hearing rehearse. So this person could be re rehearsing what they're going to say before they come to you. Four of Cups, because they feel like you guys are going to turn down their offer. For some of you guys, you are, is what I'm hearing. You don't turn your back to this person. I feel like you're focusing on yourself. You guys, you're planting seeds at this time. You could feel like this is somebody who's only going to come in and take from you, steal from you, or they want what you got. I keep hearing energy supply. So you guys, you have ri you have risen your energy, your frequency. You're, you're doing a lot better in your life than when you was with this person. And this is somebody who is seeing all this abundance come in. So they're definitely wanting to come back here. But with the King of Wands in reverse, this is somebody who still got to put in the work. But Spirit is saying that this person, Spirit is putting this person on their spiritual path. That's why everything in their life is falling apart. Yeah, they are going through some type of enlightenment, okay? The problem was that the, the main problem with this person in this situation is they had people enabling them. Like, this is the type of person that will make people believe what they say. A lot of people would extend their hand to help them. Or it was easy for these people. To, it was easy for them to go back to certain people in their life. But a lot of people are starting to wake up to this person and their tricks is what I'm hearing. So they're definitely pulling their energy away. But this is somebody who is definitely trying to come back into your life, but their intentions is still not pure. I'm hearing spirit is working on this person, though. And like I said, for a lot of them, they're in spiritual jail. What else, spirit? This person was very slow to try to come in and commit. And that's why for a lot of you guys, you feel like something is wrong or you know that this person... um. You know that this person still is operating in this negative energy. Yeah, with the Empress in reverse, y'all don't want this shit no more. I feel like y'all done turned y'all back. Y'all are focusing on self. You guys, you done call back all of your energy from whoever you was dealing with here. You done call back your energy. But I'm also picking up that spirit has revealed to this person that whoever that they was dealing with, this was not a Empress. All right? Um, this person could have tried to dress this person up like you, or they could have wanted this person to talk like you, but this person was not you. Something has been exposed to this person. And I feel like that's another reason why they live because this is somebody who cannot take their mind off of you. This person is very obsessed with coming back into your life and spirit is forcing this person to move. So that they can start putting in the word nine of cup. I mean the yeah the nine of pentacles. So they can start putting in the work. It's time for this person to start taking action in their life because I'm hearing delays, a lot of delays. They're supposed to bend on their spiritual path now. 
um, with the Ace of Cups coming in in a reverse, this is somebody who is going to have to remove the blockages from their heart. Spirit is wanting for this person to focus on restoring their heart or removing certain blockages. Um, this is somebody who done went through a lot, a lot of pain. Um, for some of them, they done been SA and this could have happened as a child. Um, for others of them, they was just in really bad relationships. For some of them, they did not grieve the loss of a loved one. They, they was just burying their pain. They wasn't working through this. So spirit is calling this person to start. Spirit is calling this person to start taking action in their life and healing themselves. Because like I said, they haven't been putting in the work. All right. For a lot of you guys, you know that this person is bankrupt or this is somebody who's going through a lot financially. Yeah, page of cups in a reverse. Spirit is stripping this person. This is somebody who's not going to have a choice but to put in the work here. Yeah, I'm hearing imbalance. So spirit is exposing to this person that their life is imbalanced. Yeah, and it's time to come into un union or unity within themselves is what I'm hearing. I'm also picking up that you guys, when this person comes towards you, you're going to turn down a love offer here. All right, because you know that this person still... <sighs> I'm hearing draining. This could have been somebody who was very draining in the past and you guys don't want to go back through this because you've been putting in the work you have filled up your own cup here and you guys you 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 don't want your life to be out of balance like this person life and for a lot of you you know this person is facing some type of karmic justice at this time like spirit is wreaking a lot of karmic in this person life a lot of karma in this person life Yeah, yeah, this is somebody who's going to have to put in the work if they want to come back in or if they want to reunite with you. Um, I'm hearing it's going to have to be equal. So as much work as you've been putting into yourself, this person is going to have to put in his self or herself as well. Especially if they want this divine connection. Because I do feel like for some of you guys, you have a divine mission with this person. Yeah, yeah. For a lot of you guys, you don't trust this person. You're really tapped into your intuition at this time. I feel like you don't put a lid on your cup. All right. So you're not just going to be giving your love to this person like that. You don't learn the lesson. And you also know that um, this is somebody who's still toxic. Okay, for some of you guys, you was dealing with um, an opportunist here. Somebody who was playing the field. It's like you know this person game. This is somebody who likes to wear a poker face. But I'm picking up, you guys, you know how to cut through this person mask. But yeah, this, this person is planning to come uh, towards you guys. They're ready to take action here. Chariot at the bottom. They're ready to take action to come to you guys. It's like they're tired of being away from you or they're tired of playing this game with you. So they feel like you guys are playing games with them, but they was the ones who was playing games. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, we got the fool in the reverse. Yeah, you know this person could be very reckless as well. Um, I feel like you guys are... For a lot of you guys, you're about to start a new journey, but it's not going to be with this person. It's what I'm hearing here. This is somebody who's going to have to catch up to you. And I feel like y'all not finna wait on this person. You you just not. You finna continue on with your life and what you've been doing. Um, if this person put in the work before you go, you might consider to take them back. But if they don't, somebody new is going to end up coming into your life here. I keep hearing you have a choice. So, you guys, you are going to have a choice here to make. But, yeah, they definitely want to come in and commit to you or invest in this connection. Now, a lot has been revealed to this person. For some of them, um, I'm hearing divine intervention. 
they could have had ancestors to come to them in their dreams or angels uh, visions as well and like I said for some of them you guys they don't got a reading on you or they know something here yeah they know you got a lot of blessings coming into your life they know this already and it's like they're trying to rush and hurry up and come back in before you guys get away yeah before you guys get away with the nine of cups they also see that you guys are very selective you're very selective on who you choose as a lover or who you choose as a life partner is what i'm hearing you guys you're taking your time you're not gonna make a quick move or you're not gonna tie yourself down too quick to these options it's like i'm hearing weighing the pros and the cons it's like you want to make sure when someone come in they coming in legit all right Yeah, I do feel like you guys, you're on guard or you're guarding your energy from this person. I'm also picking up that your angels are on guard as well because spirit want this person to stay away from you until they put in the work. Um, like I said, you guys, you're very in tune because look at her hair. She got an afro. So something about you guys, uh, you receive a lot of downloads through your hair. Um, you know, they like your antennas. Your crown chakra is on point. Look at all this purple here. But I'm seeing that you guys, you're standing out. I'm here and standing out from the rest. A lot of people is wanting to be with you. A lot of people are wanting to um, be in a relationship with you. But you are protecting your energy because you know that it's energy vampires out there. I'm hearing uh, Buffy, the, the vampire slayer. So... <laughs> So y'all slaying, y'all slaying uh, vampires out here is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spirit, what else? Yeah. Y'all third eye is on points. But I feel like Spirit is definitely protecting you. So don't worry. I'm hearing don't worry. <sighs> Your intuition is on points okay it's on point you know the truth like it might be night in this car but the moon is still out like spirits still show you what's going on in the dark like you like you are the light you're able to see things that other people can't see i'm also hearing dreams your dreams are more vivid now or you're receiving more downloads and you can receive a lot of downloads at night as well um but you, you know that this person is secretly wanting to come towards you, all right? You know they're secretly wanting to come towards you because I'm hearing you're highly favored by the most high, okay? So, yeah, it, this is somebody who could look towards you, but you're looking up here towards spirit for answers. I feel like you don't make a move without spirit. Um, something is coming to an end, all right? I feel like you're going through a renewal phase. Um, a lot of obstacles are being removed. I don't know why I'm seeing like a leaf blower. It is like spirit is removing obstacles or clearing the pathway for you at this time. Some of you guys, you can have a business online or um, something about travel. If you make content, your content travels across the world. A lot of people seek you out. You are divinely favored, like I said, by the most high. Spirit is protecting you, watching you, guarding you. You got, you, <laughs> I just heard you got spiritual goons that wish a motherfucker would. They wish somebody would come up in this circle right here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, y'all got ancestors that's watching over y'all. Okay, whoever this is, they didn't know who the they didn't know who they was fucking with. Real talk. We got the sun coming out in a reverse. So yeah, this person is not happy that you guys are so intuitive because they thought that they could sneak back into your life or they could still do this same bullshit. But you're awoke now. Spirit has woken you up. You see the truth. Okay, so this is somebody who's going through a lot of depression. This person, I'm hearing pissed. This could be somebody who's very angry. They upset because you guys, you know the truth about them. And they could have been trying to hide the truth from you and other people, but they can't hide it from you. And they hate this because you're the main person they want back. 
Okay? You're a ten of swords. They don't know what to do. They in their head. They this person is deep in their head. It's what I'm hearing. I'm also picking up obsession as well because they want to come back so bad. So bad. They feel like they let their biggest supply get away. All right. That's what I'm hearing. That's how they feel, y'all. Yeah, Ten of Cups in the reverse. They feel like they messed up big time. They let their biggest supply get away. But Spirit is showing this person you're more than you're more than what they thought that you were or Spirit is showing this person that you are divine or you are very um, protected. You are a light worker, a star seed. Like they're looking at your purpose in life and they're they're wishing to journey with you. They want to do the things that you do, but they got to come into alignment first. They are seeing that a lot of people love you or you, for some of you guys, you can have a large following or people follow you, people listen to you. Um, I'm hearing your life is glorious. And if you, if, if this haven't been going on, y'all, this is what's going to be going on in the future. Like your life is going to get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter because spirit is removing this darkness and shedding light at this time. Look, we got the magician. Y'all are magicians. Okay. As above, so below. You got all the resources you need um, to manifest the life that you want, you guys. And spirit definitely talk to you. Spirit talk to you and give you a lot of divine messages. For some of you guys, you're making major changes in your life. Um, things will never be the same. Okay, so if, if, if you was living a rough life or... Thank you, boo, for the heart. If you was living a rough life or... I'm hearing draining, exhausted, working nine to fives, working two and three jobs, single mom, single single dad, paying all the bills, working paycheck to paycheck. Um, you don't went through some type of spiritual enlightenment here. And something about you pouring energy into yourself and getting a closer connection with spirit. Spirit is about to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Okay. You had to go through a storm first is what I'm hearing. And it's because you was fighting a spiritual battle. And it was because somebody was trying to rage warfare on you and on your life. And everything is about to be amplified. So whatever they were sending you is about to come back to them 10 times fold. And you guys, you're going to get the opposite effect. It's what I'm hearing. Thank you guys. Here, what else? Nine of Wands. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, you're taking action here. You're moving forward um, in your life, in your career, um, for some of you guys in your business, but you're definitely moving forward. And look at all this armor. Like I said, y'all are heavily protected, all right? If somebody comes towards you, they're going to get burnt, okay, with the Nine of Wands being here. They're going to get burnt, okay? High Priestess, what did I say? Whew, y'all. <laughs> I'm hearing they can't get nothing over on you. You are a high priestess or a high priest. You you are. I'm hearing daughters are uh, daughters of Zion. Spirit is calling you at this time. Yeah, spirit is definitely calling you guys. Um, <laughs> Eight of Wands, y'all receiving a lot of messages as well. That it's time to act. That it's time to act. So I'm hearing major activation, Daughters of Zion, because that stood out to me very, that was very loud, okay? Something about it's time to act or it's time for you to live out your life purpose, what you was meant to do here. For some of you guys, you're going to be the catalyst in this person's life because this is somebody who's been in the dark for a long, long, long time. You're about to wake this person up so that they can heal I'm hearing so you can save their soul. All right. It's bigger than I'm hearing. It's bigger than love. This is bigger than love. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. Queen of swords speaking the truth. All right. Standing your ground. You can cut through masks. You can see through the bullshit. All right. You have a very discerning spirit. You don't been through a lot. 
You could be very um, mature for your age. Some of you guys, you could have children. You could be a single mom. Um, but you're cutting through the bullshit. And you're standing your ground. And I'm hearing you're you're living your life in with integrity, with dignity, very uh, fair, justice. For some of you guys, um, you could have a business where you use your voice. Our spirit is calling you to use your voice. Okay, something about making an impact. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, you guys. Anything else, spirit? Mm -mm. Yeah, y'all calling out shit that like people who haven't healed themselves. You're able to see people who haven't been putting in the work. All right. Um, unclean energy are people who um been avoiding the light. You guys are going to be calling them out. And these people are going to have to face divine justice here. So you're like a, a attorney in the spiritual realm. Like when you present a case to spirit, spirit listen and these people get judged. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Because I, like I said, you guys, I'm, I'm hearing something about fair. Spirit has weighed your heart. You are a very fair person. All right. You bring divine justice. You bring towers wherever you go. Especially if you see something that's not right. You tear them motherfuckers down. Spirit, what else? Why is the star here in the reverse? Four of swords in the reverse, y'all. This person can't think. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They sitting in a lot of anxiety. Um, spirit is forcing them to look at their wounds, okay? Forcing them to see what they done done. I'm seeing like a wheel and flashes. You know how they say when you die, your you uh, your life flashes before your eyes. For some of them, that's what's happening to them, but they're not dead yet. But spirit is showing, spirit is showing they ass like if you don't get your shit together, this is what's going to happen to you. Mm -mm. Emperor, again, second time it done came out. Spirit is sh ooh. justice. Like I said, uh, whatever this person did to you, okay, because I'm picking up that you was chosen by the most high. Spirit did not like this one bit. So spirit is coming coming in to restore balance. And I'm here and making a ruling on this person. This is somebody who's going to have to go through hard labor, okay? Uh, I'm hearing sentence. Okay, this person is about to go through a sentence. Spirit is shedding everything down in their life. I'm hearing no spiritual protection here. This person was very controlling. All right, a straight narcissist. Very controlling. A narcissist you guys was dealing with here. And like I said, it don't have to be just romantically. This could be family, friends, whoever. Whoever this was, they was trying to overdo their power. Spirit, what else? Oh. Yeah, on the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But yeah, they were trying to overdo their manipulation and control here. I'm hearing take your money or steal from you. Um, steal your energy. Whatever it is that you offer, this person was trying to strip you of this. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah, but Spirit, I'm telling you, Spirit is blocking these people left and right and like i said for some of you guys you got some spiritual goons around you that do not play so if this person been trying to do some type of energetic work i'm hearing they put it on themselves all right they put it on themselves you was the wrong person to rage war against okay the wrong one mm -mm. Eight of Cups, you guys, you're walking away from this, okay? This is somebody who took a lot from you. They drained you. 
Um, but I'm also picking up that this person is about to go on their spiritual journey here. And like I said, some type of cycle is ending. Okay, and I feel like it's with this person's life. Whoever this emperor is, they are going through a massive, massive transformation. All right. And guess what? Your intuition, if you've been foggy or confused, feeling stuck, delays, this says intuition, laughing all the way to the bank, bitch. That's what it say. So uh, <laughs> if this person was trying to block your money, if they was trying to block your intuition, thank you, boo. Um, all of this is being restored. I'm hearing renewed. It's been if it if this is fixing to be amplified, and for some of you guys, you're about to come into a large, a large, a large <laughs> sum of money. All right, yes, I'm getting Fergie off of this car. Every time I see this car, I get Fergie energy. Okay, that glamorous lifestyle, yes. Somebody messed up big time. They tried to go up against a chosen one. Yes, and they being judged. This person I'm being judged and you being judged. Spirit is, um, y'all good karma is on the way is what I'm hearing. If you haven't seen any results yet, you're about to see this. For some of you guys, you can feel the energy being cleared out. Okay, things are becoming a lot brighter now. You can feel this. Um, yeah, these people are facing divine judgment for trying to block your intuition. Okay, some of you guys could have been a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio here. But yeah, they, they facing judgment here. Your intuition has been restored. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. She's intuitive with nature, um, water, energy. Energy is just energy in motion. So y'all can feel energy wherever you go. All right. You don't have to see it. You know. Okay. Some of you guys are definitely seers or you are you are a oracle. You um you could have also had premonitions in your life where you was able to tell or you was able to see things before it happened. Spirit, what else? Some of you guys, you, you prophesize over this person life. Yeah, page of cups. Your energy is being restored. I'm also... Uh, page of cups. You guys, you're about to have a lot of offers that, that's about to come towards you. Okay? Whatever this person was trying to block, I'm, I'm picking up like a line of people coming towards you. This could be love offers. <clears throat> this could be money offers. Um, this could be new opportunities coming towards you. Um, I'm just seeing a lot come towards you. You're vibrating at such a high frequency that I'm hearing you can't be ignored or people can't help but to see your light. Okay? They can't help but to see your light. For some of you guys, you could be pregnant with a girl. Or I'm seeing a little girl here as well. For some of you, if you have a little girl, she's very in tune. And she's also, um, she have your same gifts is what I'm hearing. That's for some of you guys, all right? I'm also hearing something about this person, um... I'm hearing something about childhood. This was somebody who was trying to bring pain back into your life from your childhood. Like things you already worked on, things you had already healed. This was causing you to feel insecure. You didn't understand why you was feeling what you was feeling. But spirit has restored this or something. Or this is the type of person that to try to bring things up from the past to make you feel some type of way or throw your energy off you guys you're unbothered like you don't something about this is not penetrating you it's a source that's the truth that is the truth 
Y'all about to receive a lot of clarity here as well. And I'm hearing messages, messages. A lot of messages is coming in. Spirit, what else? <laughs> yes, look, y'all. A lot of messages is coming in that's going to open up different pathways for you. Um, I'm seeing your life move. If you've been feeling stuck, stagnant, delays, your life is fixing to start moving here. For some of you guys, you're about to be put in a position where you can give back to others as well. Um, you could be starting your own community. For some of you guys, charity. You're going to be helping kids or people who are less fortunate. But I'm seeing you guys be able to give back here okay that's why spirit is putting you in this high authority position okay because you're going to be able to give back and help people who's less fortunate eight of wands your ship's coming in baby ain't no more delays delays are over with and whoever who was trying to block you they hurt by this they are hurt i'm hearing stuck this person feels stuck, drained. The more God bless you, the more it hurt them. <laughs> it's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I do feel like this person going to try to come in and talk to you guys. This card says, shocked. You got me fucked up. All right. So y'all going to be shocked when this person come in to talk to you guys. This is somebody who could have traded authenticity for approval they could have went towards people that they thought that they family would approve of or they friends would approve of like a trophy wife or a trophy girl friend but this turned out not to be what they wanted okay so you guys i'm i feel like you guys are definitely i'm hearing your socks knocked off when this person come in it's gonna shock the shit out of you I'm hearing you done changed. This person feel like you guys have definitely changed. I just heard you never knew me. So this is somebody who never took the time out to get to know you. They was very superficial. It was all about what they could get from you. But now this person is seeing the truth. Now they see you for who you really are. King of Pentacles. And they want to come back into your life. This is somebody who feel like you can offer them stability or um, the two of you will be good partners together. Now they want to partner up with you, but we got justice in a reverse. Spirit say no. <laughs> Spirit say no. You're going to pay for this pain, this heartbreak, um, the trauma you don't cause, the drama you don't cause. Um this toxic energy that you have allowed yourself to dwell in. They're going to have to pay for this. So they're reaping bad karma. And this is going to affect them heavily regarding their home and their finances here. I'm also hearing child support. But some of them, they've been running from child support and they're about to get caught. Spirit with us. Yeah, enlightenment. They're going, they're going to go through an enlightenment here. And people think enlightenment is so pretty. Hell no. <laughs> Ain't nothing pretty about an enlightenment. It's not, it's not pretty. That's when you go through a very ugly moment in your life where you go through this massive awakening and you like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> okay. This person is about to be deconditioned. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah, because they life been so out of balance. It's been out of balance here. This person been juggling uh, people, situations, going back and forth in their head. Um, and I'm hearing they know uh, the difference between right and wrong. Yeah, we got the two of wands. So this is somebody who's going to be planning here. This person is planning to come towards you guys. To give you a solid offer. All right. But it's going to have to be after they do the work. After they get out of spiritual jail. After spirits say it's okay. For some of you guys, this is your twin flame. Y'all going to come back into union. I know some of you guys don't want to hear that. Some of y'all coming back into union here. Okay. Spirit wants you to be strong. Carry on. Okay. Um, 
I just heard carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you're done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. So by you guys being strong and carrying on doing what God asked you to do, look look at the infinity sim. All right. You have balanced your masculine and your feminine energy. Um, this is paving the way for your future here and it's also triggering a, a twin flame or a divine partner to change their life okay this is somebody who's waking waking up to the mission that the two of you share together all right they waking up baby i know y'all don't want to hear it some of y'all don't want to hear it they waking up but it's still more time i'm hearing it's going to be a little bit more time all right Y'all will definitely know when this person unchanged. I'm hearing their aura, the energy around them. It's going to be a lot lighter. But Spirit is wanting for y'all to be strong and continue on your mission. Don't stop. Because you're strong enough to do this by yourself. But Spirit said, you're not going to have to do this by yourself, baby. I made you a promise when I sent y'all here on earth. This is somebody who's going to have to conform or stay locked the fuck up. Okay? And they don't want to stay in spiritual jail. They don't. They don't want to stay in spiritual jail. That's different from physical jail. You can tell what's going on around you in the physical realm. In the spiritual realm, you don't know what's going on around you. Spirit can um, have an angel jump into this person or put um, one of your ancestors can jump into someone else and cause havoc in this person's life. They don't know what's going to happen to them in the spiritual realm, okay? Because like I said, a lot of you guys are spiritual warriors here. Okay, you, you will sit here to defeat this darkness. It's been going on for too long. Especially with the masculine energy. Woman or man. Take it how it resonates. Anything else, spirit? The devil in the reverse. What did I just say? What did I just say? You guys, yes. You're going to help this person defeat their demons. I'm hearing it's time to put them in check, okay? Yes, Queen of Wands energy. Some of you guys could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Baby, you got a fire that burning you like no other, okay? Um, you're not, I'm hearing uh, we're just ordinary people. You're not ordinary people, all right? Um, there's something in your spirit that's different from everyone else. You have the power to... Um, control energy you're able to tap into source spirit you have a very close connection with your angels and people who come up against you get burnt i keep hearing that you're going to get burnt all right in the worst way <laughs> real talk y'all intuition is on point for some of you guys you're seeing a lot of cats or um stray cats or something here this is also confirmation for you that um, you are divinely protected, okay? Y'all could be seeing sunflowers, but your ancestors has handed you the staff and you are moving on, you're moving forward, you're taking the lead in your life and you're about to help other people as well. You're meant to be a leader and this is somebody who's going to have to catch up. They're going to have to catch up or they're going to get left and a lot of them, they running, they running right now. They are running. They're not sitting there no more doing shit. No, they they running because they want to come back. They already know what's up. Okay? It's done been revealed. So, y'all, let's get some trinkets here. Show me what I need to see. What else is going on regarding this situation? Show me what I need to see about my whole spirit. Hmm. Uh hmm yeah, you guys, this was somebody who was very toxic, okay? Um, but I'm hearing a death. This person is going through a cleansing, some type of death is what I'm hearing. This could be unhealthy ego, habits, behaviors. This toxicity got to go, all right? Um, we also, this is my little ghost trinket. Yeah, this person could have ghosted you or this is somebody who run away from their problems. They run away from... Um, situations in their in their life that it feels like it's too much for them this is a runner here uh they could have ghosted you guys but um this is somebody who can't do this anymore 
This person can't run anymore. We also got shades. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you're unbothered is what I'm hearing. Or you could be going on vacation soon, but I'm hearing unbothered. Um, this is somebody who was wearing rose colored glasses. Okay. They was painting a lot of illusions in their life and spirit is removing these shades. All right. We also got the owl. So your intuition, like I said, is on point. You got ancestors all around you and guiding you. Um, talking to you, delivering messages. For some of you guys, you could be seeing owls or you hear them outside of your window. That's just confirmation that your ancestors are watching over you, okay? Uh, we also got a heart. It says, made with love. So yeah, spirit is rewarding you guys because um, you guys, you love very deeply. You... Um, have an unconditional love about you. You care about the where 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 welfare, blah 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 blah, the welfare of others, and so that's why you guys are being rewarded. I'm also picking up a new love that's going to be coming in. I keep hearing y'all going to have a choice. Y'all definitely going to have a choice here. Um, where my car go? Y'all going to have a choice between two emperors is what I'm hearing. All right. Two divine masculines. Um, spirit is giving you this option because of everything you don't went through. All right. Spirit isn't, isn't requiring you to take this person back. But spirit say, if you don't want this person, I got someone else lined up. So, yeah. Y'all, that's what I got. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this message. All right, I love this. I'm hearing balance. This month is going to be about balance, justice, okay? Um, karma, heavy karma, especially for all this negative energy that's been going on. So, y'all, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. You're welcome, love. Thank you. Thank y'all for the roses. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. I love y'all so much. I'm so excited, y'all. And you could just feel it. I've been feeling this since the first of the month. It's just like, it's like a wash or this energy just came over the earth and like doors been opening up left and right. I mean, it just feel good, y'all. I woke up what, around 2 or 3 o'clock, and I had eight new orders for my cards. Uh, you guys, if you want a copy of my Chosen Journey deck, the link is in my bio. Mystic Beauty been using my cards. Oh, my God. I love her so much, y'all. I, I want to meet her in real life. She's just an awesome person. So, y'all, if y'all not subscribed to Mystic Beauty, she's on YouTube. She's over here on TikTok, too, but she just got started with it over here on TikTok. But I love her. When I say she have that connection, she got that connection, y'all. She got that connection with, with Source. But I just, I'm just so happy. You know what I'm saying? And she also, she's a good supporter. Like, she's just an amazing person. So, y'all definitely check her out. I was so excited. I, was, I don't know. I just feel so giddy, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, she used my car. She done did like five videos with my car. So, I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, thank you so, so, so much. Also, y'all, if y'all want a private reading, um, it's $45 for a 30-minute video. But for those of you who already done got readings by me, you know it's always a lot longer than 30 minutes. So if you want a general reading, y'all can head over to my Etsy shop too. The link is in my bio. All right. And if you guys would like a personal reading, um, click the link in my bio. Uh, you can use the first link or the second link. I use Cash App or PayPal. And um, I take $15 donations. But if you want a two-question reading, it's $20, okay? So, you guys, I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh, y'all, 
y'all i did not put so much hard work in them cards i did make a boo-boo i can't lie i made a boo-boo because my butt was typing real fast but i'm gonna fix it with my next my next batch but i spelled poverty wrong on one of my cards which is cool you know what i'm saying they still dope cards she's still using them um but i had somebody to comment on her video talking about it's the extra r for me and this and that let me tell you guys if it's something you want to do do it you're gonna make mistakes that's okay that is okay as long as you put your all into it it's still it's gonna be okay you can always go back and fix those boo-boos so that that don't bother me because they're gonna still sell okay and she gonna still use them and so am i all right so yeah you guys don't be afraid to take chances take that leap of faith god is calling you to walk in your life purpose and to shed light okay uh you're gonna have critics out there you're gonna have people that talk about you hate you envy you jealous of you uh, send them love and light and keep it moving, baby. Keep it moving. Don't let it stagnate you. Don't make it, uh, don't let it make it, uh, make you feel insecure about yourself. You're going to stub, um, you're going to stumble. You're going to stutter <laughs> sometimes, but that's okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing because you're going to do things that a lot of people can't do. All right. They can sit and talk all the bullshit they want you still going to do things that they can't do. All right? Yeah. So, I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So, I love y'all. Exactly. 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 But, I don't care. I don't care. And it, it's one boo-boo. All right? I put an extra R. How many times you done read a book and it had an extra letter or something in it? <laughs> Who cares? If you in tune and you use your intuition, you ain't got to read anyway. You can pick up the energy off the cards. Whew. I ain't worried about them folks, y'all. I'm just so excited. God is so good. And I felt it on the 1st of July. That night I had been praying to God and asking him to show me that sign. And I felt his energy. And after that, things started rolling. Rolling. And I'm just like, wow. God, when you come through, you come through. 